welcome back. Thank you so much for popping on by. Um, if you're not a subscriber, first of all, let's get down to it. Click that subscribe button so you can come back. I upload weekly, so I'd love to see you all again. So, the background is slightly different. I might look slightly different. That's because I'm currently on holiday in the beautiful Thailand. So I'm here staying at the Bansak Merlin Resort, which I must say is absolutely beautiful. And no, I am not being sponsored to say that. Um, the view outside is gorgeous. I'll show you that. The hotel rooms are absolutely beautiful. So we have had an incredible time staying here. But while I'm here, I thought this would be a perfect time to do a travel essentials, what I take on holiday, um, just to show you what I like to take away. Um, and if you've watched my videos before, you know I've got extremely sensitive skin, I have rosacea, and I also um, break out in prickly heat while I'm away. So these are just a few of the things I like to do to try and prevent that. And then just a few other bits and bobs. As you can see, I've literally walked in off the beach, I've got my sundress on, my bikini underneath, hair just shoved up, still wet, so excuse this, um, but I'm on holiday and I want to be makeup free, so let's get into it. So firstly for the plane, some journeys are quite long, this one was six and a half hours, a stopover and then another six and a half hours, so you're going to get a little bored, I mean the planes have films, but you might want to read a book, so I always take away with me my Kindle. Now I am a lover of real books, I love the smell, I love everything about them, but when you're travelling a Kindle is just absolutely perfect. It fits in your bag, you can take it in your beach bag, it's got the cover on, it's not going to get damaged and it's light and it means you can take multiple books just in one little case. So this is an essential, I take it on the plane and I also take it to the pool or to the beach just so I can pick up a book and read whenever I want. And then if I finish the book I'm reading, I can always grab some Wi-Fi and download a new book, which is fabulous. So, number one. Next on the plane, I always like to take my little med pack, as my husband calls it. He always laughs, he always jokes about it, but he's always the one taking stuff out of here. So in here I put all the essentials, like some tissues. You might sneeze on the plane. Hand gel. Now this comes everywhere with me anyway. I'm a massive germ freak. So I like to take some antibacterial hand gel wherever I go. My eye drops. Um, as you know, I've had laser eye surgery. If you haven't seen that vlog, then I'll link it down below. So I have to keep my eyes hydrated, especially on a plane because the air conditioning is so drying. So I was applying these every one to two hours on the plane just to make sure my eyes didn't dry out. Oh, and these are great. If you suffer from um, when you're descending or ascending in the plane and your ears pop, but I mean to the extreme, I was on one flight and I almost cried. The air hostess had to get me some like smelling salts. The pain in my head and down my neck was excruciating. These little ear drum things, I will link them down below because I'm not sure what they're called. I got them from Amazon. You literally screw them into your ear and it stops... Um, any pressure in your ears and your ears popping which is absolutely fantastic and you can use them as earplugs as well if the plane's noisy so I recommend those if you suffer from pain a little fresh mint breath spray after you eat on the plane who knows what they're going to be feeding you and then just some little tablets paracetamols and things like that just in case plasters as always and then some lady bits and bobs so that's what I carry just as an emergency. I take more tablets and things with me in a bigger um, bag, which I keep in the suitcase for on holiday. But this is the one I always like to take with me on the plane. And also I keep this in our beach bag just in case we need anything while we're out. And then lastly for the plane section will be earphones. Now I know they provide earphones on the plane or most long haul flights they will do. Um, but I never find them that comfortable, so I always bring my own. And I recently got a set of Bluetooth um, headphones, and I love them. They're so amazing. Um, just to be able to not have a wire. I originally got these, actually, for the gym. Because you know when you're trying to work out, and you are doing weights, or kettlebells, or 
something and you have to literally tuck your phone into your sports bra because of the wire. So this now I can leave my phone on the side or on the floor and I can still listen to my music. Now I have an extremely small pea head as you can probably tell so all earphones always look massive on me. My husband laughs, he says I look stupid but I don't care. They work. So I was using these on the plane and also these are great um, if you, I haven't taken them around the pool or anything, I've got my um, wire ones for that, but these are great in the hotel room as well. I've been watching YouTube videos and things when we get back from the beach, and it's just nice not to have that wire. And they fold up quite small, and they come with this little bag, and I will link these down below if you want to take a look. So that's it really for the plain bits and bobs. Um, next essentials, obviously top of the list if you're going somewhere sunny are sunglasses. So I actually got a new pair at the airport. Now that I've had my laser eye surgery, it is so amazing to be able to buy sunglasses that aren't prescription. So I treated myself at the airport and I got a new pair. And the ones I fell in love with were these ones by uh, Ralph Lauren. Let's just pop them on for you so you can see. How do they look? Yeah? But I've been really funny and I haven't worn them all holiday because I'm scared they're going to get damaged by the pool or on the beach or get scratched. So I've kept them firmly in their case, but they are to use when I get back to the UK. So I have just been using these ones. Fine, simple, easy, and these are literally from H&M. So I'm not bothered if they get scratched or lost um, because on a holiday, you know, you just chuck them down and they have actually got a fair few scratches on. So I'm glad I used these ones instead. But like I say, if you're going somewhere hot, protect your eyes and use sunnies. So going on to skincare and body, the first thing I want to show you is this. And this is a gel from Ecotan. And it's a tan accelerator, but it also helps you um, get your body and your skin ready for the sun so that when you do go in the sun, you hopefully won't burn as easily. I mean, you still have to put on sun cream and things like that, but hopefully this will help you um, just stop trying to have that happen to you. Um, my, I find my forearms and my shins don't tan as well as the rest of my body, so I like using this, especially on those areas, just to help them catch up. So you start using this, um, I think it's about a week before you go. So you start applying this every day, a week before you go, to get your body ready for the sun. You then keep applying while you're away. I actually took this down to the pool today and every time I put my sun cream on I'd also apply this. Um, and then you carry on applying it once you get home to prolong the tan. The consistency is quite gel-like and it is quite drying so I always put this on first and then follow with my sun cream. But I love this stuff. So going on to sun cream, this is battered as you can see, but I always use the Pittsburgh um, Allergic the allergy sun cream. As I said earlier, I suffer really badly on my forearms from prickly heat. So if that happens, my arms will just be itchy and red and they just will not tan. They will literally be covered in prickly heat. And I found the only thing, the only sun cream that stops this happening is this allergy sun cream. So I strongly recommend if you suffer from any skin allergies, to use this while you're away, it's incredible. And my arms have not had one little bit of prickly heat and the weather here has been well into the 30s and cause it's Thailand, it is sticky and it is humid and they are still absolutely fine. So this has been brilliant, highly recommended. If I did get prickly heat, then I always take away this with me, which is the Rona Ross Repair System and this is prickly heat lotion. Rona Ross is well known for um, providing creams for allergy prone skin and this is amazing but this is actually for sunburn sun allergies and it's a really good moisturizer so this is a great thing just to keep um, back in the hotel room for if you get back and you are um, sunburn or you do have a little bit of prickly heat I highly recommend this Rona Ross cream and she does loads of other stuff in the range as well so check that out and then if you come back in um, you want something to cool your skin and really moisturise after being outside in the sun all day, especially if you have got burnt. So again, I love Piet's Boon. Um, I, as I said, I love their suntan creams and I also love their after sun. 
This is a soothing and cooling moisturising lotion and it's got aloe vera and mint extract in it. So this is for 24 hour moisturisation and this is just a really lovely after sun. Hasn't got too strong a scent which I like and it um, sinks into the skin really quickly and like they say it is extremely moisturising so don't forget your after sun. So talking about skin, let's get on to mosquitoes, my goodness. This holiday I have been bitten to buggery they will not stop eating my legs usually I don't get bitten that much um, they don't usually like me not sure why but they don't but this holiday they have absolutely loved me I have been using the pyramid trek sensitive I thought this would be great because my skin sensitive um, and it says it is as effective as 50, oh goodness, that's hard to say, as effective as 50% DEET. So DEET is what's in majority of um, mosquito repellents. I found i am being putting this on every single evening and covering my legs and I am still getting bitten. So I'm not sure how good this is. It hasn't irritated my skin, which is great. Um, but I'm not sure if I would repurchase this particular brand. But saying that, like I say, it's deep free, which is good. And also we brought this with us, which is after bites. It's just like a little pen that you can just rub on the bites um, just to stop the itching and stop them getting infected. Because as you know, once you start itching, you cannot stop and it feels so good. So last few items. What should we go for? A selfie stick! Because if you're away with just the two of you and there's loads of strangers, you don't want to keep asking them to take pictures of you. So don't forget your selfie stick so that you can take some lovely pictures to make everyone at home jealous and pop them on Instagram, which I like doing. And I'll leave my Instagram below, so come on over. Shameless plug there. Next, a little mini speaker. These are great, this is by Betron. Is that the same as my earphones? Yes, it is, and I never even knew. Revelation. So, this is by Betron. It's Bluetooth. You can connect your phone to it, so while you're getting ready in the hotel room, or sometimes around the pool if you wanted to, if you're in that sort of resort, this is quite quiet. Actually, it's been extremely quiet here. It's been lovely. My husband and I have been saying, we feel like billionaires. We get to the pool, there's no one there. We go to dinner, there's no one there. It's like our own personal private resort it's been incredible but if you can play it by the pool then you can burst out your tunes my goodness I should never say that over the age of 30 um, so perfect to have around and easily connected to your phone and then I think this is the last little thing I wanted to show you which is great for traveling is these little um, waterproof phone case covers this one is filthy actually we took this to the Maldives when we went for our honeymoon just because the snorkelling there is amazing and we haven't got a GoPro so we wanted to capture as much as we could so you literally slip your phone inside here and then you literally I've got to stop saying literally man I say that a lot you guys are probably getting sick of it you clip it up and just clip those down and then it makes it completely airtight I do find it's quite difficult to press the buttons once it's in there, so you might want to start recording before you go underwater. Um, but you can control it through this. And this is just great if you love snorkeling, um, or even if you're just at the beach and you're worried about your phone getting damaged, you can just pop it in here and then you'll be absolutely sure that it's fine and not gonna get water damaged at all. Oh, and lastly, the thing I forgot to mention because I'm using it, camera, do not forget your camera. We have seen some incredible things this holiday and I'm so glad that we've had the camera so we can look back and just remember every single part of it. It's been, it's just been out of this world. We've seen elephants, we had a little jungle trek, we've sat on the most beautiful beaches. Thailand is incredible so if you do get the chance to go, I would highly recommend it. But that's it for my travel essentials. What do you guys always take away with you? What's your go-to product or the product you can't live without while you're away? Let me know down in the comments. I look forward to seeing you soon and don't forget to subscribe.